Hi, I'm back. <clears throat> so I had my lunch and then I um, decided to come back and finish off the, um, the, the haul of it, you know, basting the haul of it because it was just taking too long and it was fiddly. And, you know, you got the picture. So I think that you, you know, you will decide how you want to do it. So this is the finished piece. It's very pretty, which is nice. You know, it's spring-like. So I just imagine it around. I mean, this isn't the end of it. It's, um, you know, it will be, um, obviously I'm going to slow stitch it, but it will be, um, maybe I won't do it longer, you know. Maybe I will keep it. I mean, it doesn't have to be really long, but you could add to it at any point, as long as you leave, you know, something like that at the end. Um, so I think that's what I'll do. I'll just slow stitch this piece and then I will decide what I'm going to do at the end. So, um, yeah, I thought you might like to see me start the slow stitch. Um, well, just looking to where my threads are. So I'm going to use um, a range of threads, different colours. So I'm going to, I was thinking some green and some yellow. Some purple. And I've got this green, which is sort of a variegated green. I haven't um, it's a nice piece there that I could use. It's already been knotted. I might start with this actually. Now it's a different needle for this, so my trusty needle. I don't know what I've done with it now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, um, I need to use a different needle. It's just purely. This feels bit thin but I'm going to use it up anyway and then we'll go from there. It is a bit thin but I'm just going to start it off. I don't want to be playing around for trying to choose colours and things. I just want to make a start and show you. So I'll start with this end because this is the end that I, pr I will um, actually At the end, I'll start with this end here. Yeah. So I'm thinking about what I can do here. So um, I think I'm going to do um, just, you know, a running stitch for now along here. So I might have to do stabbing stitch. Um, and I think what it what I will do is try and emphasise the stitch just by using different coloured threads rather than trying to um oh this needle isn't the right needle actually it's um it's too thick at the other the other end so it's going to be a bit of a problem getting it through so yeah so what i'm thinking is if i um use different coloured threads then that will be you know the decorative aspect of it i guess rather than the type of sometimes just doing a running stitch is enough you don't have to do fancy stitches um yeah i'm definitely gonna have to change this needle okay i'm gonna do it now because i it's hurting my hand and um it's not not nice to pull through and that one oh, i think i've got my I'll just use an ordinary, it's a bit thick though, that one. I just want a thinner one, but not there, that one. That's the one I want. Oh, that looks a bit thin, a bit small. How about that one? Try this one. Um. Yeah, sometimes it's, you need to be aware that sometimes, you know, they can't needles can stitching you know can hurt because um it, for me it hurts my this part of my thumb which is the arthritic yeah i mean it it's still it's quite stiff to pull through because of the um the amount of fabric that's on there but it's such a pretty colour. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty it is. I might show it more on this. I 
can't I can't go fast with it and um, I don't want to so I'm only going to show a short burst of you know just show what I'm doing here and then you know you guys can um, we can come back and do part two and uh, I'll do some more slow stitch with you so obviously I'm not going to get a lot of this done but um because I'll use up this thread and then I'll end the video there I think it's best thing oh oh there we go happens to me all the time does it happen to you does it because it happens to me and it's annoying right and this needle isn't right either, and it, so I'm being a bit of a whinge. I'm being a mourner. I'm being a mourning mini. And I think I'm going off. I'm doing bigger stitches. I found myself getting bigger and bigger. And um, I'm going off on a tangent. But I made myself, I, I when I went foraging on, oh well we went for a walk, we didn't specifically go foraging, but I for I can't help myself. So I foraged some cleavers, which are the sticky plants that when you throw they, <laughs> when you throw them they cling to whatever. Um, children used to throw them on each other's backs, you know, to, for fun and they would cling to you. And their, their, seed, their seeds, um, can be made as a coffee substitute so they're a really useful plant but anyway they in springtime in the early part of spring when they come out and you get the little you know when the plants are quite small um you if you um take a few and fall and um wash them and chop them off put them in a jug of water um leave them overnight and the next morning you have literally the taste of spring in a in a glass like this so this is mine um so i've had it for two days now and it's delicious um i wouldn't drink it beyond two days but um you could um there shouldn't be anything wrong with it but um you know i'm i've basically i've drunk mine so it's good for your um lymphatic system so um it gives you know it clears out toxins and things like that it's very good very healthy and it tastes absolutely delicious sometimes i put a little bit of lemon with it um i love the taste i think it's like this the most freshest drink that you could possibly have it's so fresh and delicious it's like drinking a, you know something green it's amazing anyway um so i'm just going to pull these off as well because these threads are hanging out everywhere and then i'll just try and tidy it up a little bit and show you what it looks like Yeah, see threads are hanging out everywhere, but not to worry about that. So there you go. So this this little bit of yellow stitching here, I'll show you if you can see it. I can't see that you can see. Yes, yeah, so you can see it there. Um, and that, and I'll go along and I'll use a different colour to go in the middle and do some more. Sl oh, so I will do rows of this. So it's going to take me a while, but you you know you can sit and do it in the evenings. Um, whatever during the day when you're watching tv if you can sew and watch tv at the same time i can't do two things at once um but anyway <laughs> so there you go that's i just thought i'd show you and um i think it's going to look pretty and is spring like and i will remember this spring having my spring um drink and um you know doing my slow stitch so um i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now hi so um this is the second part of the um making of this scroll um and i while off camera i've been doing some slow stitch it's actually the same day but um yeah i don't know if i'll get them uploaded on the same day 
but still you know I wanted to just carry on with it as um, I felt in the mood to work on it so I've been doing you might be able to see I think I showed you the first the raw where I just did some yellow thread there and then I did carried on with the green thread all the way to the end then I did some green thread here and now I'm adding this which is a bright bright yellow um, thread so I'm adding this to oops to the um, now and doing some slow stitch all the way down <clears throat> um, so yeah I mean, I mean um, this this slow stitch is helping this particular stitch is helping everything to lay flat as well which is nice but um, <clears throat> you know that that's not <coughs> excuse me that isn't really the aim as such it's more to just to sort of enjoy the the stitch and um uses use this time as an opportunity to relax uh meditate on whatever you want to meditate on if you want if that's what you uh would like to do it's your time you know it, it, we do we tend to drift off when we're doing things like this and um, it's, I certainly do. I mean, when I say drift off, I mean drift off into my thoughts and um, and that's what it's about, really, you know. Um, sometimes I'm thinking about the stitch and then other times I'm thinking, you know, my mind will wander off to something else. But the action of sewing is always pleasurable particularly when you have a needle that fits in your hand nicely the one that i was using before just wasn't nice so finding a needle that works for you is important as well um you know i know some of you have pain i have really bad pain around here um, and stitching just aggravates it so you know that's something I contend with and then you know I have to decide whether um, I'm willing to put up with it I mean I could wear my gloves um, my pre you know compression gloves um, I just didn't think about using them to well no actually that's not true I saw them in my bag earlier on and I thought, oh, shall I get those out? No, I didn't. I thought, no, I don't need them um, today because my hands weren't hurting. But now they are. <laughs> so anyway, that's something, you know, I will deal with later on. Just like, you know, walking and then paying for it later on. You, you sort of manage it. You have to manage Oops, oh, I keep doing that, you know, and it's driving me nuts. So you may have noticed I've pulled you down quite far. Um, and I just want to, yeah, I'm keeping him. I'm trying to make sure I keep him the um, the space so that you can see. But I, I've pulled you down quite far so that you can see the stitching. Um, it's very pleasant, really nice thing to do. It's very, very... Humbling, I think is the word. So I can see my stitches coming to get close together because I haven't sort of stuck to a straight line, you know, a, a, a very um, a definite line there. But that's okay, That's I don't mind that. You know, I like it. And if they clash, I like that as well, so... Just got to do what, what suits you and, you know, how you feel about well, how you want it. I will remember this for, you know, um, when, I, when I look at it, I'll remember the day that I did it. And I'm thinking to myself, well, it's reminding me that um, I need to order some things for my garden. Um, it's reminding me that um, I haven't got a lot of time tomorrow, so, you know, yeah, am I doing it today? Am I going to finish it today? If not, it doesn't matter. Um, 
just reminding me that, you know, people are watching me and listening. And also, I mean, I'm just thinking of it to myself. The, the, the cloth, um, this was my granddaughter's uh, dress, oops, uh, when she was a baby or for a small, you know, a toddler. And um, that's really cool as well, you know. Um, it's just so many things. Right now, I'm just wondering whether to go in there. Really like this. It's making me happy. I think it's quite joyful. <clears throat> Look at that. How pretty is that? That's so pretty. Right, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to keep going in the opposite direction just because I might as well use up the thread. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, and I will do some other stitches as I'm, you know, when I've finished these. In fact, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to see if I've got any fabric that has little flowers on and maybe stitch some little flowers on or, you know, for my spring theme or green leaves, something like that, you know, just something decorative and to stand out. Even though they, it's a very decorative piece, quite like the, the idea of doing something else on it as well. Um, could add buttons, beads, things like that. Just doing a back stitch there because I might. Um, sometimes I get, when I lose my concentration on the stitch, my stitches get longer and my the you know the um you know the gaps get wider <laughs> right so i'm just going to pop that one there so that's um that's beautiful love it and i will get some more now i'm going to use a different color so i've got plenty of the yellow and the green so i'm going to use the purple now i have got a darker green that i'll use as well but i'm going to use this purple just for a you know um a bit of colour. <laughs> not that it, it's not like it's not colourful, but you know what I mean. Colour, coloured thread. See if I can unwind these. Sometimes it unwinds really well, and then other times not so much. Oops, sorry. Oh dear. Sorry about that. There we go. Nice and straightforward. I'll just check you're okay. And I hope I'm, I haven't come out of frame. I know I was deep in conversation about storytelling about that. Then I'm thinking about workshops. I used to do I would always arrange a workshop for uh, International Women's Day, so I've had held several of those. <clears throat> and um, one of the years, um, I taught in a community. Again, it was for pe people with um, who had come from various countries, you know, refugees. Um, or just people who had um, emigrated or, come, you know, come which for whatever reasons. But they were all, everybody was from a different country, apart from myself. And um, there were real language barriers because some of them didn't know English and they were, you know, um, going to English classes in the same centre. And um, we did felting, wet felting, and then we did needle felting. <clears throat> And we did it over a course. It started um, International Women's Day week and then it went on for a period of, I think, six weeks or something like that, or maybe a bit less than that, actually. 
and so yeah they would uh, come every every day every week uh, once a week and we would all sit around and they would make things and we had an amazing time and I kept in touch with some of them after it all finished um, but I, I counted <coughs> I counted the the uh, amount of countries that people had come from and there were eight eight different countries that people had come from um, and there was about I think there was something like 13 women on this particular workshop so but we had an amazing time there was a lot of laughter a lot of sharing and um, it was amazing and then another time I did a workshop with a group of women who lived reasonably no that's quite bright isn't it it's just standing out but I don't mind that um yeah they they I knew them so apart from one I knew them um and um, they came to an international women's day workshop that I arranged and that was sort making um the sculpture oh what's it called let me think now the venus sculpture you know the one with the voluptuous um curves if you know what i mean the the, the uh, tiny sculpture that villendorf venus of villendorf it's called and i had um printed out a lot of different I thought because because that's just one that we we uh you know we that was found but then there's been lots of others found you know, different ones and different shapes but all very unusual shapes of women women's bodies and so I did this um workshop and we had loads of different sculpt uh images of the sculptures that they could copy or you know create their own or whatever they wanted to do so that was another that was using clay and then i would fire them at that point in time i had a kiln because i did, used to teach ceramics and um used to make ceramic myself so um but yeah so we had again we had an amazing time it's very very um lovely time we had tea you know brought a teapot and we all brought treats and sandwiches and cakes and things like that it was lovely I had a really lovely time celebrated women and and then celebrated the venus um you know sort of earth mother um sort of just the whole vibe and it was just amazing these memories sticking our in our, in our um you know our minds and we yeah look back i mean i've got we've got photographs obviously but the memory of it is is slightly different to the photographs there's um a sense of feeling you know the environment was the way the environment was it was um cold outside but we made it cozy and warm inside and it was held in um an exhibition space it was i was part of a the artist studios and I had a studio upstairs it was in a really old building and it was free it was freezing ordinarily but we made it cozy um yeah it was just and my daughter came and some a long you know a really long-term friend came along and had a lovely time so yeah just a few of the things that you know, done where we're celebrating women, but we're um, celebrating craft, and and this is what this is. Even though we think of it in terms of, you know, some people would think of it in terms of well, it's a necessity. You know, if you haven't got a sewing machine, then you're going to be doing hand stitching. But slow stitch is something else. It's um, it's a way of relaxing. It's a, a sort of a, a process of knowing. Um, and of considering and thoughtfulness and meditation and um, mindfulness and those sorts of things. So it looks like this is going to go right to the end.
which is fine, but I hadn't expected that. Um, whereas, you know, when we're hand stitching, I used to hand stitch my curtains when I was younger. If I needed a new pair of curtains, I'd hand stitch them all. I'd make them myself and hand stitch them. That was necessity to some degree. <laughs> But there was always, an, if there was an excuse to do a large project and hand stitch it, I was there. I was like, oh, I really want to do that. You know, we need new curtains <laughs> every few months. Yeah, uh, can I, um, I'm going to make some new curtains. And um, yeah, it would just be, that's how it was back then. Loved it. Mm, I would make um, cushion covers, things like that. <laughs> ah, hang on a minute. I've met, I thought I'd carried on with that. Okay, so I've met the yellow at the top that was the top, so that's okay. I will end it here with a wobbly stitch. Let's have a look. So that would have been, that was the, no it wasn't, that was the beginning over here. So where's that come from then? Oh, I did, so I came up there, didn't I? And ended there. Yes, because I came backwards. Okay, that's all right. Good. Right, so I'm going to... Um, cut that off um, there. So I've got quite a bit done there. That's not good. I don't want that sticking out like that. Got quite a bit. Let me just fold it over for you guys so you can see. There. That's nice. But I, I want to do something decorative on, on it, as I said, maybe some flowers or something. I mean, if let's look at the back. That's lovely. Look at the back. Really nice. Um, my feeling is I want to do something like along there. And saw these down because I don't want these sticking out as well. But um, yeah, that can all be done. So, but then I'm thinking f maybe cut for some flowers or something, some cut flowers. So I need to have a look and see what I have. Um, if I do that, though, that's going to take up your time unless I... Oh, I have got some, actually. But I don't know if I want to do that there. Hmm. I, I suppose I could do um, just looking at some things. Yeah. Um, okay, let me think. Let me think. I think um, I'm going to leave it here actually. I think, and then I'm going to, I might do part three where I do decorate it and then I will add it to the bobbin. Because I think this is, let me just, where's the bobbin? There. So let's say, say we have it this side here and then we'll ro roll it up. Oh, I just love it. Look at the, every little bit is different and just gorgeous. You know, and then some of the, like I made some with this here, I made some chair covers. And these um, were a pair of my granddaughter's shorts and this one of them, this is part of her dress. And this is my old quilt here. So, yeah, memories. And there we go. And I, I think I could do more. So will I do another one or add more to it? I could. It's not huge, but it's my first one, so, and I love it. So I think I'm just going to carry on working on it. 
um, but I'll leave it for now and then I will come back to you and show you what it looks like and um, maybe I'll do some of the flowers with you or, or something like that if I can find some that I can cut out but I'm really happy with it and I may be able to do a little bit of uh, embroidery stitch I just need to think about what I do because I need to source some of these down I feel like I need to I, I want to so I'll do some um, over stitch with them just some quick over stitch so I'm really happy with it and I hope you like it I think that pop of purple on with the green goes lovely so pretty and the and this color here it's amazing and you know I didn't plan that so yeah so I hope you like it and um, I will see you again very soon so take care everybody and thank you for watching bye for now